Well, Tampa's police chief resigned today after an investigation into a traffic stop where she asked for special treatment. Body cam video shows the now former chief asking a sheriff's deputy to just let them go. CBS's Jeff Begays has new details. A Pinellas County Sheriff's deputy was on patrol when he pulled the couple over in a golf cart last month. Well, it's going to be a golf cart, no tag. Tampa Police Chief Mary O'Connor is in civilian clothing along with her husband who is driving the golf cart. Is your camera on? It is. I'm the police chief in Tampa. Oh, how are you doing? Then came what an internal investigation called a violation of Tampa Police Department guidelines. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. Uh, now that you say I, I, you look familiar, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I do. <laughs> okay. So, all right, folks. Well, uh, have a good night. O'Connor then handed the deputy her business card. Oh, all right. If you ever need anything, call me. In Chief O'Connor's resignation letter, she wrote, I would never want my personal mistake to stand in the way of the progress I have made mending relationships between the police department and the community. The damage may have already been done. The internal investigation concluded the chief used her official position to obtain privileges not otherwise available. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor. But I looked at this particular incident and it wasn't about a uh, traffic stop. It wasn't about a golf cart. It was about integrity. It was about utilizing your authority to try to influence that incident. And just so you know, Tampa's mayor, Jane Castor, is also the city's former police chief. She served for six years. And by the way, the deputy involved in the traffic stop was not disciplined. He remains on patrol. Nora. Quite a story. Jeff Begays, thanks so much.